at the end of the file, you will see that we have one frame. That is weird. Why do we have an extra frame? One of the things that makes visualizing this a bit easier is the playhead shadow. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And did you know that DaVinci Resolve allows you to add a shadow like right below the playhead? The question is why? Now, to understand why, let's take a look at an example problem. Before we start, a quick reminder about our Black Friday deal. Uh, for a limited time, you can get $600 of the Ultimate Resolve bundle. Some people are calling it a steal and too good to be true. You might want to check it out. Uh, the link is in the description. Now, let's start with the tutorial. So, for example, I have this clip here followed by this clip. And let's say that I just want to export this clip. So the first one is pretty simple. I'll place the playhead at the beginning, right click, mark in, place the playhead at the end here, right click, mark out, hit quick export, export, and let's call this test, export the file. And this is the file we just exported. Now, if you play the file, you'll notice a problem. At the end of the file, so the file plays fine, but at the end of the file, you will see that we have one frame from the clip that is right after this clip, so that is weird. Why do we have an extra frame? To explain this, I'll zoom into the playhead. Now, this part to the top represents the selected area, and here is the playhead. Note that the selection, so the selected area, extends one frame after the playhead. So, the first frame from this clip is actually included in our selection. If I click here, Notice that the selected area, which is represented by this area to the left here, actually includes this frame. Now, why is that? The playhead looks like just a point, like a playhead. However, Resolve and all other NLEs work in a slightly different way, where you have to be selecting a frame. So, the selected frame is usually the frame that comes right after the playhead. So, the playhead is on a particular frame, and the entire frame is selected, not the edit point. This simply means that when I place the playhead here at this point, what's happening is I'm not simply placing the playhead here. I'm actually selecting the first frame that comes right after the playhead. This simply means that if I wanted to export this clip to the left without including this frame, what I need to do is to move the playhead one frame to the left, so move it here, then right click and mark out. And now notice that the selected area stops at this particular frame. So it's very simple. If you want this frame to be the last frame that is being exported, you simply need to place the playhead at this frame, which simply means to the left of the frame. Note that now we have this frame selected. Every professional knows this by heart. This is one of the most famous problems. However, for beginners, this is a bit confusing. And one of the things that makes visualizing this a bit easier is the playhead shadow. Now to activate the playhead shadow, I'm going to open the preferences menu, make sure I'm a an user, and to the bottom here, we have this option that says show playhead shadow. If I click it and I hit save, note that now we have a red area that surrounds the playhead and it moves with the playhead. This is the playhead's shadow. However, we need to edit the shadow a bit. So I'm simply going to go to preferences again and I'm going to move to the editing tab, scroll down a bit and here we have these two options pre playhead shadow length and post playhead shadow length the first one the pre playhead shadow length simply determines the shadow that will be displayed before the playhead so we need to set this to zero so i'm simply going to set this to zero and the post playhead i'm going to set it to one frame and hit save and now if you zoom in you'll notice that the shadow is only to the right of the playhead and it shows the currently selected frame and this makes visualizing this thing much easier so for example if i place the playhead here note that the red area is the frame that is actually being selected so for example if i want the export to end at this frame i know now that if i right click and hit mark out the playhead will stop at the end of the red area and not at the the uh, playhead exactly. This might seem simple, but believe me, when you're editing and you're trying to edit precisely, you will run into this problem more often than you anticipate. I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, uh, please visit us at filmsimplified.com. We're currently running our Black Friday deal where you can get $600 of the Ultimate DaVinci Resolve bundle. It includes the courses, the LUTs, and the footage library. You might want to check the link in the description. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com